price elasticity of demand. So let's suppose the price of a sandwich at the food court is initially $5 and that when the price is $5 people buy 1,000 sandwiches per week. Suppose that the price of a sandwich increases to $5.75 and quantity demanded falls to 800 sandwiches per week. Let's calculate the price elasticity of demand over this range. Well, the formula for price elasticity of demand, it's the percent change in quantity divided by the percent change in price. Or in more formal notation, delta Q divided by delta P times P over Q. And P over Q refer to the initial values. So delta Q, or the change in Q, will be the new quantity minus the initial quantity. So for this particular example, the new quantity is 800 sandwiches, the initial quantity was 1,000 sandwiches, the change is a negative 200. For the change in price, we'll have 575, which is the new price, minus $5, which is the initial price, giving us a change of 0.75. We'll use this information and our initial values to plug into our formula. So the numerator is delta Q times P, which is negative 200 times 5, our initial $5. The denominator is delta P times Q, or 0.75 times 1,000, our initial level of sandwiches. Working through the math, we get a negative 1.33 repeating it's typical to round elasticity to one or two decimal places. So given this negative 1.33, what can we say about demand? Well, over a particular range, the price elasticity of demand is negative 1.33. It's not over the whole demand curve, just over the 575 to $5, 800 to 1,000 quantity. So over this range here, we can say that demand is elastic because an absolute value 1.33 is greater than 1 and 1 is our rule for evaluating if something is elastic or inelastic. 